how do you determine the crane mat size to use? This is something that comes up from time to time and we always recommend having at least two to three feet of crane mat exposed on the outside of the equipments, either rubber tires or steel tracks. Uh, the reason for this is the crane mat itself is designed to distribute the weight and if the tracks or the, the tires are on the edges of those mats, one, you're not distributing that weight um, in, a, in a functional way, and two, uh, you're more liable to actually damage the mats because um, you're, you're bringing all the weight down on a small area versus having the mat do what it's supposed to, which is distribute the weight. So if you had an all-terrain crane, for example, that has a width of eight feet, then you would want at least two to three feet on each side of that mat. You would want at least a 12 to 14 foot wide mat. Um, and the same, same would apply for larger cranes that have 32 foot from outside track to outside track. Um, you would want something that's, that exceeds that as well. They're all, there are alternatives in some of those cases. You could use two 12 inch by four foot by 16 foot centered under each track and have a gap between instead of just going one long. Um, but in essence, the, the concept is the same.